Thank you so much for, for this event, uh, Miriam. It's, it's such a, a moving moment for all of us. I was here uh, six months ago, and um, I couldn't even dream that uh, now, six months later, I would be seeing what you've done with this place. I mean, the, it, it, it's just amazing. Um, the buildings, the trees, the landscape, the roads. And I want to congratulate every one of you Ashrafis, Ashraf residents, because I kind of feel very proud of being your friend. And I'm proud because I have seen the sacrifice you have made. Not only the sacrifice of so many people that you, we have seen in, in, in the exhibition, the lives, children, women, that could be our children, that could be part of our families, that took the decision to confront the tyranny, the dictatorship, and that paid the highest price their life to allow all of us to be free in this world. This sacrifice today is bearing its first fruits. We see it here as a token, here in, this, in the city of Ashraf III, because we understand that what we see as a miracle uh, in the middle of nowhere to construct this amazing site is I know what you're going to be able to construct and to turn in Iran when we will see you coming back. And I have been with you for a couple of years and I have been observing your organization. And every time I am amazed, not only in, in the solidarity, in the values, in the principles you gather, but also in the political Saviness, in the, in the prudence, in the wisdom that you share in all the organization. And I have to say that as a woman, I feel very, very proud because I think that in the world, there's no organization like the MEK that gives to women that leadership and that place. Your victory is our victory. And we know that very soon we will be with you in Tehran. And we will be putting the flag, the Iranian flag, with the flag of justice and of democracy. And it's a, I mean, really, thank you for that. Thank you.